The district's child welfare system is in turmoil. Despite criticism from the inspector general, the city has proposed cuts to services for underprivileged youth. But in this time of need, two friends have taken up the call. They're encouraging people to become big brother mentors. As Ben Iser reports, these men show even a small commitment can change a child's life. In a small spot behind the Watergate Hotel, 25 years ago, That's a nice rod. Way better than what we had. John Prendergast taught Michael Mattox to fish. To tie a lure, but also so much more. <laughs> and the power of that relationship between a mentor and a youth comes alive in their new book, Unlikely Brothers. We are sorry for so many things that happened and finally forgive you for the rest. The joint memoir chronicles the pair's chance 1983 meeting in a DC homeless shelter. John became like a big brother to Michael, playing like a kid and teaching him how to read. But John's life took a different direction and he became a leading human rights activist in Africa. I missed a lot, like I missed decades. <laughs> of my friends and family's lives here in the United States. Eventually, he landed a top job in the White House, rubbing elbows with influentials from Clinton to Clooney. But as he survived in war zones abroad, Michael fell victim to those at home. It was so easy to get a gun. Easier yeah. than even a book? Easier than even a book, yes. At 13, he dropped out of school and never went back. At 14, he became the most powerful drug dealer on Georgia Avenue carrying guns bigger than the ones the police had. But one evening, thugs robbed his wife and boys at gunpoint. And all of a sudden, Michael realized how much he had to lose. It ain't like I'm a rich guy. I don't, I'm not rich at all, you know, but it just did, you know, it, it amazes me the things that I have. Instead of retaliating and falling deeper into the street life, Michael left it forever. And as he looks back on the guns, drugs, and most of all those fleeting moments on the Potomac, he says his friend, while not always there, showed him a way of life he would have otherwise never known. And that led him to make the right decision when it mattered most. My family, that's it. That's, that's it, you know. That's how I look at it. Michael supports his family today as a bus driver in Laurel. 40,000 American kids still await Big Brother mentors. In the newsroom, Ben Eisler, News Channel 8.